Hey, welcome to Happy and Healthy-ish, a YouTube channel dedicated to all the things I'm obsessed with, things that make me happy, and things that are healthy-ish. I joke that I, I love a kale salad, but I also love a glass of wine. There have been many comments, and by many, probably two, like, what is the junk food you say? You like junk food, what's the junk food you eat? Here's the thing about junk food, here's my theory. If you are craving pizza, have the pizza. There are things that I rarely, if ever, say no to, French fries, and they taste better when they're off somebody else's plate. So I usually have my kids order them and then I eat them, and then like an amazing glass of wine on a Friday night. And cupcakes, I really say no to cupcakes. So today I'm gonna show you some of my very favorite healthy-ish treats. First up are these dark chocolate peanut butter cups. They are so easy to make, it's Gary. The ingredients you're gonna need are this 100%, 99% cacao baking bar, dark chocolate, unsweetened chocolate. That's a lot of words right there. Unsweetened chocolate baking bar. Unsweetened, lots of words. Um, some 100% super awesome pure maple syrup. Super awesome is just something I added. I don't know that they have super awesome maple syrup in stores. You're gonna need some natural peanut butter, and that is it. Oh, and muffin cups, you need muffin cups. First step is you get, you melt all the chocolate in a small saucepan. You get it all melty, and then you add your half a cup of peanut butter. Get that all melty, and then add about six tablespoons of maple syrup. Stir it up, look how, ooh, look how. Now, I have in the past just licked the bowl like that. From here, we just fill up our little cups. We put these in the freezer for about 20-ish minutes, and then they're the best things you've ever tasted. Before I put them in the freezer, totally forgot, I, um, I sprinkle a little uh, sea salt on top. It is so I'm addicted to anything that has anything to do with an avocado. So this is my yummy chocolate avocado mousse. Here are the ingredients you're going to need. Two ripe avocados, a half a cup of cocoa powder, two ounces of melted baking bar, that 100% cacao, ca cacao, 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 thank you, honey. Half a cup of pure awesome maple syrup, um, you'll need a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a pinch of salt, and about three tablespoons of coconut milk or almond milk or regular milk, whatever kind of milk you want. And you'll probably need a food processor, not probably, you'll definitely need, you'll need a food processor or a blender. I'm gonna melt the, um, the two ounces uh, in a bowl in the microwave. So that's all melty. We're gonna add our two avocados, and I'm not gonna be a statistic. I'm not gonna be one of those that goes to the hospital because they cut up an avocado. Now I'm gonna pour in my melted chocolate. Half a cup of cocoa powder. Half a teaspoon ish. Ish. It's fine. Sorry. And then you wait on the milk until you want to get to desired consistency. Here we go. Three tablespoons. I think that needs like two. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, like two little pinches of salt. Here we go. And now serve. Okay, this is a huge serving. Mm. 
Mm. I have such a spot. I love French fries, but I also am obsessed with sweet potato fries. And what I love about sweet potato fries, you can kind of season them and keep it simple or really kick it up. So this is my kind of kicked up version of it. Here's what you're gonna need. Two large sweet potatoes, a half a teaspoon of granulated garlic, a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, about two tablespoons of cornstarch to kind of keep all that moisture in, and then a glug or two of olive oil. I'm, think, I'm gonna call it like two tablespoons if you wanna be exact, but enough to kind of coat everything. That's my coating gesture. So cut your sweet potatoes in equal kind of quarter inch fry shapes. So now I'm gonna coat the fries with about two glugs of olive oil. Glug, glug. And just really get in there. Make sure they're all nice and coated. Okay, half a teaspoon of granulated garlic, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Very hygienic. And about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. For this, we save the salt for the end. I'm gonna start with one tablespoon of cornstarch. Keep them really nice and crispy. So spread them in an even layer. In the oven on 400 for about 20-ish minutes. Next is my very, very favorite. Popcorn is another thing I cannot control myself around. And when I make it, I make it with coconut oil and salt. So here are the ingredients you're gonna need. You're gonna need some good old fashioned yellow popcorn, coconut oil, and salt. And I have this popcorn maker. I put about a tablespoon of coconut oil in the bottom of this. And look, it kind of like scoops it around. It gets it all nice and covered. Half a cup of um, the kernels that I'm gonna spill everywhere. And then I add my lid. And the way this popcorn maker works is that this gets warm and you put the coconut oil on top and it melts down and it covers it all. Stop popping and I put this little lid on. And then I add some salt. be all healthy and just say two tablespoons, but I'd crank it up a little bit more. Salt to taste, and my taste is hypertension. Oh, what a treat. Literally. <laughs> so we're gonna start, uh, these are my- You're talking very loud. You're, I... you're not even eating some caffeine. We're gonna start my journey through mm -hmm. my favorite treats. Let me just say I've had these before. Is there anything different? Nope. It's, they're fantastic. I can already tell you they're gonna be fantastic. As you can see, they come out, they don't stick to you like Reese's peanut butter cups because they're colder. Mm -hmm. And they're a thousand times better. It's not even close. Oh. Very good. It's just, like it's very chocolate forward. Very chocolate forward. It's not too sweet. I think that people make candy too sweet. Oh, it comes out just like a Reese's yeah, cup. Yeah, it looks just like a Reese's cup. Yep. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. mm. Right? Mm -hmm. Right? I can't tell on her face, so I can't tell if she really likes it. I She's do. Like, that's the that's the moment. Yeah, yeah is it is it not? Is I know. It, it's not too sweet. No, like it doesn't hurt my teeth. Yes, she does, but and it's not. No, I love it. Oh, and I like the salt. Yeah, salt's that's, good. That's like a. That's a, that's a happy face from her. Okay. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Because <laughs> she's a millennial. We're such ageists. This is why we don't go to the movies anymore. 
The popcorn? Because like your your candy and your popcorn are like 20 times better than, the, than what they make in movie theaters and I don't feel like killing myself afterwards. Like who knew coconut oil tasted better than butter? Yeah. In popcorn. I knew. Okay, next up. Chocolate avocado mousse. That's a new one, hang on. I'm a little worried about this one. Okay. I'm not a moussey person. Yeah. So I don't want you to judge this on just my yeah. taste buds. No, it's not bad. But not bad. Wait. No, no, it's not bad. So you have to like avocado to like this. I do like avocado. I just don't. I've never tried this before. It's good. I'll have more. I kind of want some more. Like I can't figure out if I like it, and I'm gonna end up eating the whole thing. You like it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you don't have to like no, it. No, I think I like it. I got one another bite. Take a like, tiny bite, you can take it, you just. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Millennial question mark. Okay, like more pudding-y. It's very good. No, it's okay. You can if be If you like avocados, this is really good. You taste the avocados? I do. You, you do. It's really good if you like, it's healthy. Ish. Oh. You don't have to eat it all. Bianca. But I kind of like it. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Yeah. Okay. We salted the end. We finished with salt in this case. I'm gonna say it again. This is a tough sell for me. Okay. I like my fries deep fried and I like them not sweet. Okay. However, that is very good. Very, very good. These are good. These are good. Fries are tough. When you don't fry fries, they're tough. Can I we admit that? I think they're great. There's good? Okay, is this, you like this one? Anything warm and salty. Yeah. There's good, happy millennial. Mm. Yay. Time Let's consuming. Let's go time consuming. The, the mousse, because there is a, an, you have to have a food processor mm -hmm. element, and, but it wasn't, it took four minutes to make. This is chopping, which probably took six minutes and it has to roast for 20 minutes. Right. So this took the most time. This is seconds, maybe. These two are so painfully so easy. easy. Yeah. So painfully easy. So, but none of these, I don't make hard no, things. No, I know. So yeah. I think that's why I, this is my favorite. And it's we make it all the like time. Lola can make it in no time. And next question, the mess factor. Because those aren't gonna wash themselves. Yeah. Well, thank you for watching. What are your some of your what are your some of your summers? What are your some some? What are some of your what are summers? Some, what are, some of your what summers? are your summers like? Sub what are you summer's do? coming. What are you gonna do? Hashtag subscribe and click the little bell so you can get notifications. And thank you and I love you. Bye. Hey, go go gadget. Yeah. I'm on my watch and we're recording a video. You want to say hi? What do you got? No, I already ate leftovers. Okay, I'll see you soon. Beth, do, are you too young for Go Gadget? Mm. Do you remember? You don't remember Go Go Gadget? I remember Inspector Gadget. Yeah, oh, Inspector Gadget. <laughs> <laughs> Kids, it's Inspector Gadget, and he has a Go Go Gadget watch. And it's like, that's what I think about my app. Oh no, 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 mm. I love you, no means no. Mm. Okay, love you. Okay, hey, we're gonna make your favorite peanut butter cups. Oh, I love these. Oh, don't, honey, we need that for the bar. Love it? Yes, and that, oh. I love unsweetened chocolate. I love you, love keep having fun. Ready, what are you doing? I mean, it's a little, like, I just want a little bit of syrup. You are like Buddy the Elf right now. <laughs> I love maple syrup. Candy, candy <laughs> corn, candy canes, and candy car. <laughs> car yeah. first? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna have my own cooking show real, real soon, honey. You just wait. So, you know, I'm a modern woman. I know that it's tough being fit and looking this amazing, but every once in a while, I just love a wild glass of wine and some chocolate. Is that, am I doing that right? Karen's offended. You're funny. Okay. Fitness is exhausting. Lifestyle. <laughs> Commitment. Fun. Guilt.
No, it's not really. No. Okay, sorry. 